On Fire Youth. Fancy seeing you here. You know what day it is? It's Monday. You know what that means. It's time for some motivation. Motivation Mondays. Motivation Mondays. Okay, I'm going to read today a verse from Ephesians. It's Ephesians 3, verse 17 to 19. Uh, it's a verse that I've been looking at a bit this week, and I've been quite motivated by it. And so, I thought, what better place to share a verse that I've been motivated by than on a thing called Motivation Mondays, right? I thought so too. Okay, um, I'll read it for you now. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. I must ask you a question. Have you ever seen something so big that you can't quite wrap your head around it? I have. Um, I had an experience like this in the Blue Mountains. If any of you know kind of where the Three Sisters are, not the uh, McGrath family, but the uh, the physical location of those three stone pillars um, in the Blue Mountains, then you might know what I'm talking about. There's a particular lookout that you walk down some stairs and you go onto this platform and you're standing in the middle of this huge bowl in the side of a mountain, right? The Three Sisters are here and the cavern is just like all the way around. It's incredible. You look down the side and you see just these tiny white specks moving ever so slowly along the enormous green ocean of trees, right? And then you realize those tiny white specks are cockatoos and they're quite big normally and they move quite quickly normally. And you realize how big this cavern is. Um, a photo doesn't do it justice, but I'll uh, put it right here. Whoa, I know, right? Incredible. It's so big. Um, and to think that, compared to other places in the world, that cavern isn't even that big. In fact, it's, it's quite small. Um, that's insane. And then there's space, right? All these things, these ginormous things, these caverns, these canyons, all these things I've been talking about, they're all confined to Earth. The sun, the not Jesus, the uh, thing in the middle of our solar system, um, that can fit one million Earths inside of it. That's a lot of caverns, all right? Um, and then the biggest star we know of, I forget the name of it, but it can fit 1,700 suns inside of it. That's big, right? And then galaxies, right? They, they have hundreds of billions of stars inside of them. And then we know of hundreds of billions of galaxies. That's hundreds of billions of hundreds of billions of stars, which is hundreds of billions and hundreds of billions of millions of Earths. I'm not going to go further with the numbers, but you get what I mean, right? This thing that God has created is huge. And yet, he created it in just a few little words. Well, some of the words might have been a bit big, but just a few words. He created all this marvellous, ginormous stuff. He is so much bigger than all the big things put together. And yet, he loves us. What? <laughs> he created all these things and he said, this is good. And then he created humans and said, this is very good. What? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. And that's what this verse is saying, right? Our little tiny human brains cannot comprehend just how big God is and how much he loves us. But we can try. Paul says that if we are rooted and established in love, which means if we dig our heels deep into the word, well, don't actually do that because um, 
it wouldn't end well for your Bible. But if we immerse ourselves in God's presence and among his people, we may begin to understand just how wide and how deep and how high and the other one, God's love is for us. Our human brains can't understand how big it is, but we have the spirit inside of us. And through that, we can understand this love that surpasses knowledge, that surpasses what we can understand as humans. And when we get that revelation, we can't help but share it. It's like a fire burning inside of you that is burning to be let out to the world, right? You just, you can't contain that. It's oh, invigorating, I say. <laughs> and so, as you go on with your week into the world that is slowly getting busier, um, immerse yourself in the presence of God and in his word and with his people so that you, perhaps, may have that revelation of God's love for you. Bless you guys. Oh, you didn't sneeze. Bless you anyway.